Welcome to the Go Dyslexia webinars, where dyslexia experts share strategies, technology, products, and more. And now, your strategy and product guru, Dr. Erica Warren. This is Dr. Erica Warren again. I'm so excited to share with you a demonstration of an activity called What Am I? What Am I? is one of two activities that are available in my popular publication, Following Directions Intermediate. To do this demonstration, I'm using Zoom. Zoom is a free program that I downloaded off the internet that enables me to conduct video conferences with my students when they're at home. As long as you're doing one-to-one -one sessions, Zoom is a free service. If, however, you want to work with more than one student at a time, you will be limited to a 40-minute session. Unless, of course, you want to upgrade your service for a nominal monthly fee. My favorite feature about Zoom is that I can share my screen with students. What's more, the program provides a drop-down menu that allows me and the student to draw on the screen. Now all my documents and digital activities on my computer are interactive. To top it off, I can start a video conference with myself and use all the features in this presentation with students at my office. I love to use my iPad and I can access all my documents by selecting either Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Then my students can mark the documents with the touch screen. This saves so much preparation time and printing expenses. And now for the demonstration. Hi, this is Erica Warren again, here to give you a quick demonstration of using Zoom with one of my products, which is called Following Directions Intermediate. And the first thing that you do is you, if you hover along the bottom of the screen, uh, you get a bunch of options. It says invite, manage participants, share, chat, and stop recording. So I'm going to click, pick the middle button, which says share screen. It's green. And if I do that, it gives me a pop-up menu where it gives me every option of all the documents or applications that I have open on my computer at present. It also allows you to select a whiteboard, which is just a blank space that you can draw on or the person that you are video chatting with can draw on. And then there's uh, also the option of being able to view an iPhone or iPad. So I'm picking the document. So here's my following directions uh, activity from my following directions intermediate, which uh, features two different types of activities. One is the what am I, and then another one simulates a maze where they have to follow directions. When I'm using Zoom, what I have here at the top, I'll have to overlap an image because it doesn't show you in the video. But uh, at the top, there is a menu, a drop down menu that says mute, stop video, manage participants new share, pause share, annotate, and more. If I go to annotate and I click on that, it opens another dropdown where I can change the mouse, I can change, I can add text, I can draw, I can change the cursor, I can change the color, I can erase and so forth. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the uh, draw and I'm going to click the line. And if you go under color and at the bottom, you can actually make the line a little bit fatter, which is what I like to do. So let's go ahead and start the activity. Number one, I'm in one of the rows under the row of the pig. Okay, the row of the pig is the first row. And if I'm under the row of the pig, then I can't be in the first row. Number two, I'm in one of the rows below the row with the frog. Now the frog is in the second row. So if I'm below that row, then I can't be the second row. Number three, I'm in one of the columns to the right of the column with the camel. And here is column one. I find that a lot of my students confuse columns and rows. So this is a nice way for them to, to practice that. Number four, I'm between the first and final columns. Now I've already crossed off the first column, but I have not crossed off the final column. And I'm between, so I can't be either of those. Number five, I'm between the second row and the last row. Again, I've already crossed off the second row, so let's go ahead and cross off the last row. I have no feathers. 
So if I have no feathers, then I can't be any of the animals that have feathers. So let me cross off the two animals that have feathers. I am anything but the bunny. So if I'm anything but the bunny, I can't be the bunny. Number eight, I'm in one of the rows above the second to last row. So this is the second to last row. And so I'm going to go ahead and cross that one off. I'm in one of the boxes directly around the crab. So if I'm around the crab, I can't be the crab. In addition, the monkey isn't directly around the crab. So I'm going to go ahead and cross him off. Number 10, I'm next to column four. So here's column four. So I can't be column four if I'm next to column four, and I can't be in column two because that's not next to column four. So now the sole survivor is the ram, and that is the answer to this activity. So as you can see, you can use Zoom with any document or PDF, and this really is just such a great way to be able to be interactive with your students when you're video uh, chatting with them, but can also be a nice way when you're in person so that you don't have to print out the activities and they can interact with them either on your computer or on your iPad. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks for watching the Go Dyslexia webinars, where experts share strategies, technology, products, and more. If you want to check out our video podcasts, blog posts, and resources, go to godyslexia.com. Be sure to sign up for Dr. Warren's newsletter and follow us on social media.